everybody. Here we are. Day 52 of A Song A Day Keeps the Virus Away. Once again, out on the porch, you will be serenaded by birds while I'm trying to sing you a song. Um, today, I want to sing you a song from my new album, which hopefully will be out in the fall. You can pre-order at my website, www.sallyrogers.com, called Old Friends I Never Met. It's a compendium of songs about people I've never met, but who I feel already close to from having been singing songs about them for all these years. And um, today I want to share with you one about Henry Box Brown. Some of you may know the story of Henry Box Brown, others not. He was born into slavery around 1815, and in 1850 his wife and four children were all sold away from him, and his heart nearly broke. He couldn't take it anymore. He'd been forced to work in a horrible tobacco company, uh, tobacco um, plant where they had to uh, sort tobacco leaves. It was a horribly dirty job. And then his wife and children were stolen away from him. So he decided that he could no longer live in slavery and that he would rather die than being a slave. So he had a friend who built him a box three feet by two and a half feet by two feet. That's about two feet. Can you see that? That's about two feet. So two feet by two and a half feet by three feet. And in that box, he packed himself and he had himself express shipped from Virginia to Philadelphia, which in the, around 1850, would, you could do it in 24 hours. But through various modes of transportation. Started out with a wagon and horses, then went um, onto a ship, and then from the ship onto a, another wagon, and I think there was a train involved in there somewhere. In any case, he had uh, been shipped all the way to Philadelphia to a Quaker, um, a Quaker home where a bunch of abolitionists awaited his arrival. And when he was taken out of the box in one piece, everyone cheered and were thrilled with the, the uh, success of his endeavor. He spent the rest of his life traveling around the country, telling his life story. He actually wrote uh, a, an autobiography, which I believe you still can find on like Google Books or the, um, uh, any of those book places where they print up old, old books. Anyway, they have uh, that book. And he also traveled around doing magic acts and, and then telling his story. Um, I'm not sure exactly when he died, but um, he was able to make a living doing what I just said. He wrote this song about his travels. Um, he wrote the words, but the melody comes from Stephen Foster. I believe the, the song was called Old Nelly. Not Nelly Gray, but uh, another Old Nelly. And so, I was just in the studio today and recorded this. For that lovely new album. And I'd love to share it with you today. And you can sing along on the chorus. It's got a lovely chorus. <clears throat> Guess what? I can't do it yet. I need one more verse, which I don't have right here, but I have it right over here. So I will get it while you're listening to my voice and not seeing my face. I will get verse number one. And here I thought I was so well prepared. See, you guys all thought that I knew the words to everything. Sometimes I cheat. And uh, this is one that I actually used to know the words too, and now I'm having to reclaim them. And here we go. Yes! From the south to the north, 
which he would not have done, but they stole all his rights, but they'll never do that like anymore. Brown lay down the shovel and the hoe, down in the box he did go. No more slave work for Henry Box Brown, in the box by express he did go. Then the orders they were given, the cars did start away, roll along, roll along, roll along. Down to the landing where the steamship lay, to bear the baggage off to the north. Brown lay down his shovel and the hoe, down in the box he did go. No more slave work for Henry Box Brown, in the box by express he did go. Then they packed the baggage on, they turned him on his head, the poor Brown liked to have died. There were passengers on board who wished to sit down, and they turned the box over on its side. Brown lay down the shovel and the hoe, down in the box he did go. No more slave work for Henry Box Brown, in the box by express he did go. When they got to the cars, they threw the box off, and down upon his head he did fall. Then he heard his neck crack, and he thought that it was broke. They never threw him off anymore. Brown lay down the shovel and the hoe, down in the box he did go. No more slave work for Henry Box Brown in the box by express he did go. When they got to Philadelphia, they said he was in port, and Brown then began to feel glad. He was taken on the wagon to his final destination, left this side up with care. Brown lay down the shovel and the hoe, down in the box he did go. No more slave work for Henry Box Brown, in the box by express he did go. The friends gathered round and asked if all was right. As down on the box they did rap. Brown answered them, saying, Yes, all is right. He was then set free from his pain. Brown lay down the shovel and the hoe. Down in the box he did go. No more slave work for Henry Box Brown in the box by express. Brown. There's a wonderful children's book called uh, Henry's Freedom Box by Kadir Nelson. Gorgeous illustrations and an amazing story. It captures the heart of his story um, told for, for children. And if you have a young person and you want to teach them a little bit about African American history and the history of this country, it's a good book to look into. Henry's Freedom Box. So with that, I urge you to help me get this record out by giving a little donation at www.sallyrogers.com and I will hope to see you tomorrow and the next day and the next day and be well, be safe.